Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 9 of Timber and Stone with Sir Woogie. So, we left off last night, we had already just come and just come. Wow! I still can't talk! Let's try this again. So, we left off last night. We had done a little bit of exploring, checked out what's going on around our place. We just got a big old recap of what was happening. We killed a couple spiders. We laid out some more walls. You can see there's been some more done. I'll go over that in just a moment. And we pretty much just got back into the groove of things for Timber and Stone after being gone for a few weeks. So, with that being said now, let's go ahead and talk, over, talk about what happened over the night. Because they still kept on working. Not a lot of major stuff happened, but we did get some small improvements. For example, this was cut out. This has all been cut out. The farms have all been decayed and they're being cut out. Apparently that I had two the two rows for each one, and so I had to tell them not to reseed that one row continuously, so that's been taken care of. They're gonna go ahead and chop all this out just so you wanna see the design. They're getting rid of all of that. We have this in place still to get cut out, then I'll worry about the minerals there. They're getting the walls up in place. We did reach over three hundred uh food. We got a couple more spiders. I sent Isabella out to go poke them all. She killed them all. I believe we got Samson gathering them all right now. I have to go ahead and double check what he's doing here in just a moment. But the goals, here's the goals for the next couple episodes. We need to get these walls up to level two. We need to get some semblance of a door here in front of all of these. I don't know if it'll be a gate or an actual, just a simple door for now, probably a simple door. And then we want to go ahead and start cutting out around a moat. Um, I'm not 100% sure how what I'm going to do with the moat just yet, but we're going to get to it though. We are working on getting Isabella at a higher level. I want her to be level 10 infantry and I want to get a couple other people like level 5. So we're making training dummies. I got 7 here. We need to get our engineering skill up. So we're going to do it through training dummies. We got to be careful though because they use a lot of wheat. Just so you all can see how much they use. So, we mil so object military training dummy. 1 timber, 4 twine, and 6 wheat. So that's six weeks. Wheat's gonna be a problem. The twine, not so much. We have like 400 or 300 flax left. Yay! Wood. We're trying to cut down our wood piles. So we can move that wood off that platform there. I think we're. Should, we should be able to do it if we move one more actual wood storage and move it down. Then that won't be an issue. Um, we'll look into that in just a moment as well. As far as what everybody else is doing, since so I reassigned some jobs, let's go ahead and take a look at that. We got Woogie moved over from being a farmer to being a builder because, again, we had over 300 food. I want to attract new people, but I don't want to attract too many monsters just yet. We're near day, day a day nine now, and we still don't really have much of a actual fortification in place. So uh, I probably should have thought about that a moment, uh, a little bit longer than I did actually. So Glenn's still a farmer. Avery's been moved back to stonemason still, so they can make more bricks. Samson is a forger. We're gonna put him back to herder. Claudia is our engineer for the moment. I think we can actually move her to be a miner again since all those are up. Sergeant Pepper is building. We got Isabella mining and we got Paul as a tailor. He jumped. He jumped so high. I think he was like 6 or 7. We just got level 11 now. I had him making everybody the armor. He's got him now we got him making gambesons. I was actually just investigating what else can he make at this level. Oh, we got some leather going on. We get some people some leather boots. Uh, sabatons take their blacksmithing, bucklers, I think I'm going to do the bucklers, we have no more standard ingots, so we always do that, we have, we don't think we have any solid ingots either, but kite shields, then heater shields, and you know, tower shields, so we need a lot of leather, so we'll have to look into that in a little bit, we may have to start trading for leather because we don't have a lot of animals, um, but yeah, so we went from tunics, gambesons, okay, so we got the three people wearing gambesons over the tunics, that's perfect, Brigandine comes next, but we need level 14 and we need some of these, but I kind of want to move out of light armor into heavy armor for some people. So keep everybody else who's not, um, words, 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 okay. Keep our infantry in heavy armor and keep everyone else who's not infantry in like light armor. And that's what I was thinking of doing there. Chainmail coil. Well, can you imagine the farmers walking around just wearing chainmail? Just... Their little hoe with the whole chainmail on, just oh my gosh, that'd be brutal. I I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I don't think. <laughs> but yeah, we need to get some boots on. I was even thinking about going down and just doing some patents, just for some basic stuff. Get our actual combat people. 
wearing leather boots and everyone else wearing the pathogens, just that 4% speed increase. That 8% speed increase is nice though. Maybe my just, I'm definitely going to put those like on the miners and everything. That 8%, 12%, oh that's damage protection, hang on. Speed increase, damage protection, okay so they get speed increase versus damage protection. Alright, we got that. 10% block chance, 15, 20%. Yeah, they're pretty much going to max out their armor. I wish you could level up your armor somehow. Maybe as they get higher levels in infantry or something, they get higher le they can carry more stuff. We'll have to investigate that. Anyways, let's get time going. It says late night, but we know for a fact it's rolling into daytime. Come back here. Let's jump to see where Isabella's at. She is chopping that away. I want this chopped out before I go ahead and have them start doing training. So how much can you hold? Timber power provides 180. This writes 200. Hmm. We need to burn through some more wood. What else are we getting low on, people? Actually, nothing really. Hmm. <laughs> well. Yeah. What do you need to make a treasure chest? Or this little gold pile, the the storage for coinage. Storage. Treasure. Treasure chest. Yeah. We need two solid ingots. Resources. Why am I not tracking those? So, oh my gosh. See, this is why. Track this. Oh, let's do that. Okay. Treasure chest, treasure chest. For now, we'll put our treasure chest right here. Yes. Alright, treasure chest going. Who needs to build that? Builder. Well, we do that, we can go ahead and dismantle this, which is nice as well. So then I'll probably put the wood right there. Yeah. Where's our builder? What are you? Paul. Paul's done. Paul, be a builder for now. I'll deal with you in a moment. We need a lot of building done today, people. A lot of building. Also considering, by the way, just so everyone's on the same page, we need the walls up. Once we get the walls up, then I'm pretty much thinking if I want to move these in, like districts. So this is obviously the farming and livestock district. Then I was thinking this could be like the military district. And this could be the like this could be the crafting district or the farming district. And then the other one would be over here. This would be like the crafting or farming district. Keep everything within the walls. I don't think we need, well we do need to worry about housing because we got everybody off the floor. So that's something to think about too. Get everybody into like a kind of barrack scenario. Depending on how how many people we got moving in, we could just do like a little walled off area and. Kind of like a cell. If you've seen prison architect, just little tiny rooms. <laughs> but we'll look into that in a moment. I do want to go ahead and chop all of this out and turn it into wood as well. That's something we could actually do for our builder to get that wood out. So let's go design hall. And let's start like right here. Oh, that is the exact opposite. So we say we want to set the hall. Nope. We'll set the hall. Just to make sure he doesn't get messed up. We'll do that. <laughs> All right. Design dig. Yes. Come on. Oh, and dig. Yes. This is going to be good. It's going to be very good. Excellent. So, what else can we do right now? We have everyone just pretty much just chugging along, just doing their own little thing. We got the little dig jobs here, the dig jobs there. Again, don't want to do it the road just yet, because we're still trying to figure out what we're doing with the land. 
Oh, I think I did decide we're doing the land. We're going to bring it up. That's right. We're going to build all this up, at least... I don't have to this with the inner fort, maybe have like an outer wall with like towers and everything. So I might just bring this up to a certain level, like maybe another 20 blocks out. Out of curiosity, how much is 20 blocks? How far is it from here to there? 30 probably. Or actually, let's see, 20. Nah, we'd have to go like the 30. So yeah, I'd do like this there. Probably, but I may want to put like a moat around here too. Probably didn't need this to be as big. I definitely wasn't thinking about that right away. But it's okay. We can work with it. Claudia's level 12 miner. Fantastic. Yeah, if I'd done this to begin with, I probably would have had this to come out to only be like out to here. And then had this outside maybe. Hmm. What if I chose to domesticate the boar? And domesticate the chicken. Basically, I want all these animals domesticated or used. You're not domesticated. Oh, he's gonna go get them. Yes! Replace all those dead animals that we had. Alright, let's domesticate this sheep too. And the chicken. What is this? Pause. Isabella. Isabella to infantry jump to you all right so we need you over here girl them wolves they attack the everything he's sleeping right now get him while he's down get him while he's down come on I need you dead wolf I need you dead like right now All right. Spider is slain by Samson. Good job, Spider. Oh, here it comes. A wolf has been spotted by Isabella. All right. Charge this enemy. Go! Oh. Oh, damn. He is, like, super fast. Take him on. Get him. Get him. Oh, yeah. Gather the resources. Domesticate the boar. Isabella, what else we got going on? Anybody else out here causing us grief? You got a doggy over here. Get the doggy. Get them all the wolves. Just cut them up in a ton of pieces. I'm actually a huge fan of wolves. But not this type. So we got that. And let's do F1. I want to monitor her health. Oh, she's doing great. Oh, snap. Where's it going? Oh, they're chasing each other now. Okay. One hit. Two hits. Good job. Good job, Isabella. You, I'm going to keep you in my... You clicked on for the moment here. Let's see. Oh, dang. Dang, dang, dang. Okay. So, see. You got to pay attention. This could have been terrible. Charge this enemy. Nope, nope. Charge this enemy. Okay. Charge this enemy. Where are they going? I think so. I think they're a They're actually both charging. So. Oh dang. Okay. Good. Good job, Isabella. Gather resources. Gather resources. All right, come with me for a moment, girl. We just gotta check out one more location, pretty much. Just make sure no more wolves are hiding the trees. All right, I don't see anything in there. And then, do we check this corner yet? Yeah. Okay, you can go back to being a uh, miner then. So. Oh, that's, that spider died. Oh, he's gathering that. Oh, there's a spider died right there. We can gather resources. Okay. Well, there's your excitement for today, everybody. We got, what, one, two, three, four wolves. And a spider. <laughs> Good old spiders. So, let's come over here now. We got a whole bunch of people just chilling. Anything in mind down there? Nope. Okay, design, construction, flooring. 
Mm. What do we want? Timber floor. Oh, that smooth timber. Let's go with timber planks. I really like to look at timber planks. So there we go. Should definitely involve some people there. Oh, let's see. No, I need design. Paul is a builder, but Paul has nothing to build because our stonemason is probably asleep. Avery Brick, what are you currently tasked with, girlfriend? Let's see. Crafting brick, gathering supplies, gathering. Okay, we need another another stonemason right now. Do do do. Sir Woogie. I want you to be our stonemason as well. So you help out. Oh, look at all this. This is all silver right here. Oh, iron ore. Iron ore. Iron. We got a couple coal. Some tin. Yeah, I thought there was some copper. Oh, copper's on this side. Look at this. Bam. More iron. More copper. That's fan-freaking-tastic. Resources. Why am I not tracking iron ore? There we go. More iron ore. Got some more copper ore. More coal. How much coal do we have? 29. Okay. Design. Dig. Oh wait, we gotta do roads, and then we gotta dig that, okay. A merchant is not important. I can't see what you have. You have not intrigued me enough. Oh, right. oh you're passed out dude, we're gonna let you sleep, and afterward I'm gonna keep you a uh, forager for a minute. What do we need for a simple gate? Objects, doors, seven engineer, castle gate, seven, seven. Okay, we need level seven. So currently four. We'll work with that. Dude, you just like came, you just like stuck your butt in our door and just like, hey, what y'all doing? Okay. Kind of like this little layout here for the walls, just for the inner buildings. Probably try to put roofs in there on them later, but for now, like that. Sergeant Pepper, what are you doing? You're a builder. What if we turned you also into a stonemason for a brief minute? Yeah, let's do that. Get all those bricks built. Let's tell them to overcraft the bricks. What are we missing for shears? Oh, we're missing. No, no. Hang on. I know exactly what's happening here. Hand tools. Shears. Currently in Q1. And then Sergeant Pepper. The blacksmith. Yeah. What are you, Sir Woogie? Let's see, what's Sir Woogie? Sir Woogie! The stonemason. Okay, resources. Bricks. 64. We have a lot of dirt, we have a lot of stone. Currently in queue. We're gonna make a bunch. We're gonna make like 256. 256 more stone. Yeah, get three people working on that. Oh, he needs level 3. Okay, so I know what to make him do for right now. 256. Y'all probably think I'm crazy, but I'm not. I promise. It's going to be good. And then, you see you. Your tasks are right here. Train under 3. Go!
And what are you? Blacksmith. Oh, let's see what you're doing right now. You're eating. Om nom nom. The Q says you should be building solid pick, solid tongs, and shears. Why aren't you? Resources. Hand tools. Solid pick. One wood and f oh. <laughs> Four standard ingots. So I said bully sharp pick. Yeah, I like that. Let's build two of those. And no solid tongs. And the shears. Okay, I see what's happening here. Move up. Move up. Move down. Why is this not happening? You don't have the level, do you? You're seven. I think probably someone's screaming at me like, that. she can't make that, you fool! Okay. We'll just do that. We have the resource, we just want the skill. Okie dokie. We got that figured out then. So, for now, we'll just leave shears in there. And we will send you to be a stonemason. Yeah! Oh, we got the builders, the diggers, they're done doing their thing. So let's go ahead and we'll just pocket mine all the ore. Real fast, just so we can get our uh, blacksmith up and running here. And... Not bad, I don't think. Not bad at all. All the ores. I think it's all the ores. So we're gonna come over here. Did we get all the ores out of here? We did not. We got ten ore. We got iron ore. Okay. You're dead. Okay. We gotta start. We gotta find Samson. Tell Samson to stop being a slacker and get to on that. Okay. What are you doing, Samson? Are you eating? Empty inventory while walking. Okay. Gathering from chicken. Oh, gathering from chicken. I need you to pause for a moment and be our forager, dude. He's like, all right, I'm on it. He's out. Okay. Then there. Oh, everybody, everybody, lo-fi forager, I'll make you the new forager. Oh, lazy, clumsy, cowardly, bad vision, quick learner with athletic. How are you athletic and lazy, dude? You know what? You're a forager. You'll be the forager from here on out, and then you'll be a farmer if there's any issues, because I like that. Except, hello, Bryce Gray. Let's go ahead and put you back to being a herder, and Bryce shall be our forager. Bryce. Maintain an inventory. Oh wait, we need to go back to Samson. Samson. Maintain your inventory. No knife. No knife. Thank you. Maintain one crook. Yeah, and then we go over here to Bryce Gray. Bryce, let's see, you're maintaining your hand, one knife, and you're also going to maintain one light home, 
and one light chest. And then we need to get you a sword. So. Oh, we also need to do your mechanics. Wind hole on idle, gather berries, harvest wild sheep, loot the dead. Yeah, so we're sleep autonomously based upon fatigue. Okay. Perfect. Alright, we got a new person, everybody! Yes! Yes, we got a new person. That's fantastic. Fantastic. What storage is full? Food is full. Okay, well, give me a second. It's all stone in there. It's all stone in there. Let's see, stone. No, let's see, I think it was unknown. It's stone. Let's just make sure all this is still stone. I've seen some where it's like double or on top of ore, and I can't argue that. See, okay, Sergeant Pepper's level four stonemason. Keep it up, keep it up. All right, unknown. And then we got here. Okay. Well, I know I want to go ahead and cut all this out here. So design, dig. All the stone out. Block to technical reasons, okay. now it's getting dark I think in a moment here it's about to go into the nighttime thing where you'll all be able to see it like a little bit brighter for just a moment let's check that out foods 360 all right let's get some more objects storage food there we go and we're gonna put Another set of crates right here. By the way, I figured it out. You can hold down shift and you can place multiples. I know I'm special sometimes. We need for that. I need a builder. Okay, cool. Builders go building. Builders be building. Oh, we almost have this taken care of you, sir. Or just like problematic. Okay, so I'm going to have you, since there's nothing else for you to do. Uh, um, Stonemason. Train under level 3. Yeah, who is, who is this supposed to do this? We don't have level 5. Car oh, Carpenter. Grr. You. And then. We need you to be a Carpenter again for a moment, girl. Oh, the materials are got the food crate. What? Objects, storage. Oh, she <laughs> she's gonna craft the stuff to make them, I bet. Yeah. There we go. Oh, hey, look at that. We're down below 180 wood. Alright, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and cut the episode off here. I just want to say thank you for watching. This is episode 9 of Timber and Stone with Sir Woogie. We'll be back shortly with episode 10. Take care.